So anyway, so that's my Halloween story. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, I tell you what, I got a, I got a better one than that, and it'll scare you to death. Did I ever tell you about the time that my breakfast was haunted? No, no, nothing. Well, it all started one morning when I woke up and I wanted to make myself a bowl of cereal. shoving me. Uh-huh. This music's kind of loud, too. Are we moving? Are we moving? Oh! Oh, somebody turn the lights on! Woo! Oh, now the party's really gonna stop! tell you what it was you know that cereal was just you know too much for me to handle you know but so I just decided that I think it would be a whole lot safer if I would try to you know eat a banana you know so that's what I did I went back there and I got myself a banana and this is what happened That just scared the fire out of me. You know what I mean? I mean, it's. I mean, who, who would have expected that to happen? You know, eating a banana. But I would have never thought that something like that would happen eating a grapefruit. So I decided just to try to at least, you know, eat a grapefruit. This time, you know, I was just ready to ready to give up. You know, I was a little bit wigged out about everything that was going on, but it, it needed to. I, I needed to get something to eat because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Uh huh. You know. So I decided that I would just attempt, attempt to try to make myself some toast. And lo and behold, guess what happened?
So I thought about just, you know, starving myself for the rest of the day. But the way I look at it is, is that it, even if I couldn't hear it, it would probably still be making noises. So I went back and I chopped the banana up. I put it in the cereal. I got me a nice little bowl, had the grapefruit in there, and then I buttered up the toast. I figured the butter would at least make the burning go away. So I was kind of doing the toast a favor, all right? And I topped it off with some freshly squeezed orange juice, which, need I remind you, was an excruciatingly painful process because it sounded like a woman's voice. So, you know, I ended up getting my breakfast and I got on with my day. So that's my spooky Halloween story. Terrifying. It was, it, what, what do you think? Is it scary? You gonna have yeah, nightmares? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I'm ready to go trick or treating. Who's with me? Let's go. Let's All right. go.